So, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for, for being here. Um, I'll, I'll start asking you, um, who are you and what do you do uh, for, where do you work and what do you do uh, for uh, the business uh, and for KD, uh, especially for Plasma Mobile. So, let's start with uh, Bhushan. Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, so, I am from India and I work for Blue Systems and um, and Blue Systems is mostly sponsoring my work on KD Plasma, KD Plasma Mobile, and KD Neon projects. And apart from that, I work on various embedded hardware-related projects. Uh, for in general, for specific to Plasma Mobile, I mostly work on maintaining it and creating uh, images from time to time, and like doing various lower level Im task improvements and things like that while uh, and I will let Markun explain his part. I am, uh, I am Marco, I, I am from Italy uh, near Turin and uh, I also work for Blue System. I am, uh, uh, I am uh, now the, the CTO of the company. Uh, but I, I, st I still do development work. Um, I also work uh, almost, not completely, but almost exclusively on on um, KD technology for the technologies for the for the day job. Um, I co-maintain uh, Plasma, the Plasma desktop, and I also did uh, during the years. Uh, um, some work on um, on Plasma Mobile. I work more on uh, uh, let's say the the uh, higher level UI side. So um, I I did put some some work in things like the, uh, the 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 home screen with the with the launcher grid, and uh, I'm also working on a. Uh, on a, on, a, on a library for doing applications on top of it uh, called called Kirigami in which you can do desktop applications or mobile application that works both in Plasma Mobile and Android as well. Many people uh, don't know how uh, businesses work with free software so uh, my question is uh, what does Blue Systems uh, do with KDE who are uh, its customers? In, uh, of course, I'm uh, speaking in general. Mm -hmm. uh, the main uh, interest in, uh, by Blue System is to get uh, to get uh, Linux, both desktop and recently also mobile technology to be as good as possible. For uh, for many for as many ordin ordinary users as possible, uh, with that with the, with the, um, also with the, with the, with the target to actually uh, potentially uh, create uh, create markets because we need we need uh, uh, we need software as good as possible to be to be adopted as much as possible and also be used in as many as possible commercial scenarios. Uh, beside, beside, beside that, we also, we also do have some, uh, some works f work for clients that what pay more pays the bills more. Why use Plasma uh, instead of uh, another uh, option? Uh, so, uh, in terms of in another option, you mean uh, creating a totally new user interface from the scratch? Uh, so f mostly one of the best thing about uh, KD Plasma is it's a uh, KD frameworks and all the technologies which support KD Plasma. It's, it's a mostly cross-platform. So if you build applications or uh, user applications or various user interactions related things for your use case then you can also use use it on other devices like android devices or ios devices or even windows devices so i think cro being cross platform is one of the one of the main 
advantage of using plasma and also uh, as far as I understand plasma's one of the vision was vision is also to support multiple devices and not just be with the desktop plasma is architectured in a way that it can support multiple devices multiple form factors so in general plasma provides architecture for for easily creating such applications or uh, or installations or configurations for such embedded and mobile devices Uh, yeah, I can I can uh, add something. Um, a good thing about Plasma is that as a, it has a lot of infrastructure for uh, managing things that you need all across devices. Like e everywhere, you will have to uh, connect to a Wi-Fi network or or connect to the the phone data if you if you have a SIM or. Um, manage the the um, uh, global uh, sound volume or um, uh, manage uh, launching close applications oh, and for most of those things we have infrastructure that we designed fr from the day one even in plasma desktop to be completely logic and com uh, completely decoupled for for any UI. So on a phone, you will need you will need a completely different user interface. But that doesn't mean that you have to implement everything. All the actual functionality, it's it's already there. You have to dress it in a way that works well on a phone. But you 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 don't you don't have to redo things that are already or already there. And, and, and for that, Q, uh, QML. Um, which uh, which is a technology that Plasma use, uses that it's that it's from from Qt. It's uh, it's very good in that in having uh, very flashy mobile ready UIs, but at the same time completely complete, completely decoupled from from the implementation, which will be done in C plus plus and, and will have no UI whatsoever. So basically, uh, the thing is, you don't need to reinvent a wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, a couple of questions about implementations that uh, the the common user can uh, can try out. Plasma Mobile on the Raspberry Pi. I've seen a couple of users trying it. Uh, is it working? Is it stable? Uh, could it be useful for something, in your opinion, like, I don't know, uh, kiosks, uh, you know, or in showcases, uh, like you just plug a, a monitor and then you have the UI ready to show uh, things, presentations? Uh, so, uh, I actually haven't personally tried Plasma on Raspberry Pi devices, but as far as I know, there is a Yocto recipes for building Raspberry Pi images uh, based on Plasma S and they use open source driver implementation for the graphics card in the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I am not quite sure how mature the whole graphics driver stack is, like it might have some bugs or not. So, uh, but in general, I, from what I have seen at the Forstum, like I have tried uh, it for like few minutes. Uh, I think it works quite well, and for the Kios use case, it should be quite easy to reuse uh, low end hardware like Raspberry Pi. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, just a couple of things. Uh, as far as I know, Raspberry Pi until the 3 version had had some limitation on its uh, graphics driver, so. so uh, who made that port had to kind of work around some some limitations with the Pi 4 uh, would be should be a bit better uh, but also but also be, um, behind the Raspberry Pi um, there are uh, there are there are also uh, other uh, uh, see, like the Pine 64 Banana Pi, some of them have uh, graphic cards that are uh, supported a bit better, uh, so that it can it can uh, you can 
really do whatever you want with that. Uh, we we have full plasma, uh, on, like on the uh, Pine64 hardware, we have full plasma sessions for f e even 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 a complete plasma desktop uh, interface as as the base SOC of the uh, Pine phone will be similar to the one of the Pine book. Uh, we we got basically in there both Plasma Mobile and Plasma Desktop and both works just fine. Plasma Mobile for Android, which has been released uh, as a as ROM as an image uh, for uh, I think at least uh, uh, the Nexus Seven, the Nexus Five, uh, and a couple of Samsungs. Uh, have you tried it? Uh, what? Um, what do you think it is for? Because I mean, uh, um, lots of Android users are uh, probably happy with just Android. So why have uh, Plasma Mobile for Android? It's just for uh, for the sake of it, just for having it, or could be uh, could it be useful for something? Uh, so I will be uh, I will be honest with you, like. Currently, in the hardware market, we don't have a lot of mobile devices which are, which are as which which are not so much open. There are some work in progress devices, but like yeah, yeah, Librem Five or Pine Phone, they are work in progress. But previously, we did not have such li we did not have a liberty of choosing such devices, so we had to compromise in a way and use the existing off the shelf hardware and make a make a use of android binary blobs on these devices so currently we have a uh, Hali project Halium based images for nexus uh, for nexus 5x and uh, we also provide a root file systems which uh, this device which other devices with the Halium ports could use make use of oh there is this is a uh, yeah Nexus 5x. Oh, this is the 5x. Yeah, I, I take the mic. Um, so basically, on these, uh, since the the device Nexus 5x was back in the day, maybe one of the most openish phones, but even yet, it's it's still pretty close. So there is kind of a, a half of the Android software stack just to to, to make like drivers work which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, but uh, what I would say the important for this um, in this moment is mostly to get it in the hand of uh, as many developers as possible since it's not, it's not something that is going to, to replace your, your daily phone uh, those days, but but since it's a community project, as a community project, it's important that anyone that wants to play with it may do that reasonably easy. Um, with our desktop software, is easy because everyone has a laptop. Uh, so, um, but unfortunately, since the the situation on, on phones is not as open as on laptops, that you can take any laptop and install Linux on it. Um, so, less optimal solutions need to to happen also also on phones that are maybe end of line that never had proper drivers. But if we can if we can make it work somehow. Uh, that's always that. That's always a, a, a great help to bring people to it, and hopefully, hopefully, yeah, someday we will have a choice of different uh, phones that are open enough. The Librem, the Pine phone, which which you can actually put the a, 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 a proper Linux distribution, which is as recent as possible, and yeah. So basically, uh, basically uh, what you're saying is that the advantage of having uh, Plasma Mobile on Android instead of just uh, getting Plasma on uh, Pure OS is that being 
on Android, uh, it's easier to to work for people who know Android and who needs uh, maybe uh, also Android apps. So it's a um, it's a compromise, and uh, since uh, a full Linux phone is it's not really ready for everyday use. Uh, a compromise is uh, uh, the best choice we have right now. Uh, may, I, may I clarify one thing? Uh, so when you say plasma on the Android devices, it's not exactly the it's not exactly plasma running on top of Android, but the plas it is basically running a Ubuntu system inside it. Uh, and the Android is running inside container just enough to have drivers working. So we are okay. we are not installing it as Android uh, working. Yeah, uh, no, it's not full Android. It's not full. Ex yeah, not full Android. Yeah, it's a compatibility layer. Just to have the graphics driver. Yeah, that's that's yeah that's. A compatibility layer just to have the, the graphics drivers working. I think about I don't know if you remember um, many years ago when when um, uh, wireless cards uh, started to be uh, to be popular at uh, at the first at the first days it was almost impossible to get proper drivers on Linux. So uh, that Endis wrapper project started, which they taken the, the uh, Windows driver and wrapped in a way that could just work on Windows. That's in a way basically 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 Endis wrapper in, in, in kind of a way just because those 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 phones are not open enough to to install whatever you want as you can on a laptop. Uh, we, we, we should strive for in, in a future to have that on, on phones as we have on laptops, but it's not there yet, unfortunately. Today, the majority of young people are almost more familiar with mobile devices than with laptops or desktops. Um, so, uh, in your opinion, your personal opinion, the future of desktops, uh, that of course includes Plasma, uh, could be more on mobile versions than on regular desktops, or uh, the desktop will always be the most important uh, way of delivering uh, this kind of software. Mm -hmm. So, I can say it, that it's that it's always that it's always a parallel thing uh, because um, it's very important for us for uh, to go also on mobile and make an application that works both that work both on desktop and mobile. However, mobile devices and um, desktop devices are mainly used in two radically different ways. So. Uh, a mobile device is used mostly to uh, communicate and consume content, but you don't see much complex work done on a mobile device. The uh, I, I see I see desktop devices uh, transitioning more from being a completely general purpose machine to be the machine that you use when you want to create stuff and the fact of creating stuff it's very important because it's what what we want to encourage um, so I I see I see the future of the desktop well uh, well here to stay well here to stay f for who wants to 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 create to create something amazing to build stuff and also since we are KD is also a community of developers that's that's the first the first tool for them for for creating stuff even mobile applications so it's uh, it's very important to be on the mobile space 
um, because many activities are indeed migrating on mobile and we want to be in the hands of users, not having free software only when they are on their desktop, but being able to have free software also also when they are on, the, on their mobile. Uh, but still, both will be very important in the future. So the last question, and uh, uh, this is for both of you, um, is in your opinion, of course depending on your role on the Plasma Mobile uh, project, uh, which will be the next important things to, um, to implement or to uh, improve in Plasma Mobile in the next uh, couple of years? Uh, one of the things which we should be improving is uh, uh, application ecosystems. Uh, so generally, the, uh, one of the first criticism you hear when someone tries to offer a Linux mobile is this doesn't have any applications. So it will never, it will be never be successful. So I think we should uh, we should work on improving the application ecosystem, and um, and I think the steps to in improve this in application ecosystem is the Kirigami toolkit Marco has been working on. So Kirigami toolkit allows to create applications which work on even on the desktop, on the Android, and on the Plasma Mobile. So basically code once and target three different platforms. So in my opinion, application ecosystems is a, one of the first thing. And the second thing I think is possibly various bits like cloud integrations, because uh, when people are going to use your device, they will want their own data. So you need to have uh, some op open services like Nextcloud and even even the services like Google's niche to be supported because people will want their data already stored in Google servers and they, they will want access to it. So I think these two are main important topics as per me. Uh, yeah, I, I pretty much agree to that. The, the, the first thing, of course, is ease, ease of deployment. I, I, I dream in a future that one can can, can take any phone and just install it on top, like you can do that on laptops. Uh, and of course, the basic, the, uh, all the, the the basic phone and the basic system uh, behavior has to be has to be spot on. And yeah, applications, 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 and the really n nice niche we can we can we can really thrive. As, as one of the goals of KDE this year has been privacy, that, that, that it's really that, the one phone on which you are reasonably sure nobody is spying on you, uh, which you cannot say that for any of the really two uh, big uh, smartphone providers right now. So, uh, so it's basically that. Well, thank you for answering my questions and, uh, uh, of course, thank you for your work on Plasma Mobile. Bye.